Hey, cute stuff. So welcome to another pick a card with me, the Divination Duchess. So today we are getting messages from your person, okay? They could be in no contact. They could just, you know, not really know how to speak up because there are some shy people out there to just, you know, keep their mouth shut. Whatever it is, yes, this is romantic though, okay? So if you hear from messages from somebody non-romantic, it might be a little bit weird. But we want to get messages here from your person, what they may be you know keeping unsaid remember here that this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind we got three choices here for you to choose from as far as which pile you're gonna go with so we got deep yearning we got deep love and then we got deep passion this is from my future love oracle deck just in case you want to know all right boo we're gonna go ahead and get started with the reveals let's get it okay pile number one deep yearning let's see here what this person has to say i have pre-pulled but not have pre-looked so we're gonna see what it is oh well starting off very beautiful here with a very loving connotation Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay. The call. Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. Five of Swords. This person definitely has a lot of mental strife, stress, um, worry, but they do see a lot of positivity and happiness here. From this connection it seems like this person's really kind of battling themselves trying to keep their energy very grounded right and that's where we got this deep yearning and energy from makes perfect sense because it's like this person is really trying to keep their energy very grounded and so let's see what they want to tell you so first of all they want to tell you that they care for you deeply okay with this love card or the lovers here are number six so with this this person wants you to know that they care for you very very deeply okay that you're someone that's very important to them that you're someone that they think about quite often here you even see she's kind of laying back in her slumber and so with this is because she's you know kind of pondering on life a little bit right um and she's tamed this lion so this person wants you to know that they do genuinely care about you they do love you they do have a certain level of just emotions that they have specifically there towards you okay next they want you to know as well that you are the world to them okay so even if this person may be acting out of sorts or may be quiet they know that you represent everything that they could ever desire everything that they, they could ever want and so they want you to know that you know even if they're not that great at expressing or showing it that you definitely mean the world to them okay um and so with that, it's like they look at you in a certain level of awe. Like they look at you um, in a place of being like, you know what? This person is amazing. They think you're absolutely amazing, okay? Next, they want you to know here that when it comes to building something solid in your connection, that a lot of times they overthink, okay? And they get themselves stuck. So it's like they look out in the horizons. They want to really have a certain level of like togetherness or solidarity here with you like they want you guys to be able to work as a team but at the same time then they get stuck here in this king of air energy and so with this it's like they're saying i overthink i get real controlled i don't allow my emotions to just kind of flow and take me over and I know that it's a bit of a pain in the butt because it's a pain in the butt to me. Like this person's frustrated with themselves, okay? They're frustrated with themselves because they know they want more, they want to express more, but at the same time, they're like, well, I don't really know how to get there. I don't know what to do exactly, okay? But they want to know that they do feel there's like this deep calling here from you to them. They feel this magnetic attraction. It's like they feel your soul calling towards them. And so for them, they want you to know that this could be very confusing because they feel it or they hear it, or it's like there's this certain power that tells them, yes, something is right about this connection. Like you need to feed into your emotions. 
And so they want you to know here that they do have this overflow of emotions for you here. But at the same time, this is something that could be very scary for them or it feels very new for them because for a lot of them, they haven't felt this kind of emotional upturn, upheaval. Um, and just in that in itself could be very confusing. Okay. So I really feel like this person here, in a sense, is pretty confused when it comes to you know, this feeling, they know it's there. And so they want you to know that they're kind of analyzing their feelings. They're like, Hey, I know that I got all these deep feelings, but at the same time, I don't fully understand them. And at the same time, I really want to keep control because I'm stubborn because I'm rigid and because it's just easier that way. And so it's really like, they're saying, I'm really trying to assess my own emotions. I'm trying to assess my own energies. I don't know what to think but a lot of times i feel defeated because i get stuck in my head and it's like i try to fly above these negative thoughts i try to fly, fly above all of this kind of things that hold me back and, and be a lot more practical but at times it's hard because it's like teaching the old dog new tricks okay it's like i've already have my mind set to kind of protect myself i've already had my mind set to kind of overthink about things because i feel like when i overthink and i can keep better control and so i know that this is probably affecting you in ways that it's frustrating or confusing but at the same time it's really just me needing to work through all of this mental stress and mental strife and, and all of these kind of control issues that i'm holding within i want you to know that you do represent happiness to me at the highest level. Um, I think sometimes that I forget to show you how much you bring happiness into my life. Sometimes I feel like I forget to even enjoy the happiness that you bring because I get too stuck in my head. Once again, I keep telling you that because I don't want you to take a lot of this, excuse me, burden on your back is what they're saying. They don't want you to take a lot of this burden on your back. Um, and they are still very hopeful and inspired here that they can get their act together. So they want you to know that they're trying to get out of that kind of control energy and be a lot more practical, be a lot more logical, be a lot more grounded, trust their feelings here in this connection. And they're also saying, hey, I'm trying to balance my feelings in this connection because I don't fully understand them. And even though I love, you know, a deep passion and a deep sense of love, it's still very scary. It's still very scary and yearning is a lot less scary. It's like easier for me to do that. So I'm really hopeful right now. I'm really in a place of reflecting. I'm tapping into my higher self. I'm tapping in with God, the divine the universe. I'm really checking in here on these emotions. Um, and I know that may take a bit of time. So I might not be, you know, doing any declarations anytime soon. But the feeling is there. The love is there. Um the emotions are there, but I'm just very hard-headed, as you probably already know. What else does person want here? What else do they have to say? What else do they have to say? This person feels like it's a time that you guys really learn how to work together as a team. Um, they know that they're required to open up more to get to that point. And so they're trying to really figure out how to better understand you, how to open up for deeper levels of understanding here in this connection. They feel like they probably haven't made the best calls at all times just because they overthink rather than just truly listening and tapping into the heart space. They also want you to know here that it's a time where they kind of regret um, getting some advice about you guys' connection. It seems like they got some negative advice or some advice that really isn't positive. So they're wanting you, you to know right now they're kind of regretting that because they kind of got people in y'all's business. Um, but it's something that they're taking care of. They're feeling like you, they want to have more sexual transparency here in this connection. They want to be more intimate, close with you. They want to spend more quality time with you. And so they want you to know that, you know, for some of you, this could be coming soon. For some of you, they may be pondering or thinking for quite some time, but they are in a place where they are working towards trying to get back close to you, trying to build a more playful nature. And so they want you to know that all of this feelings that they have inside, they're not planning on ignoring it for the long term. 
they're really planning on using this to really work towards building a mutual bond with you but they just have a lot of things to work out through their head first it's almost like they're saying i'm trying to come up with a plan or you know see how this makes sense so that they can move forward it's almost like they got stuck here because of this control energy they want you to know that they plan to move forward but they're not quite there yet because they're still figuring things out and so that's really the energy space here now personally if this person has been leaving you hanging for quite some time then it's up to you if you decide to you know wait around for them if they have it well this is all good and beautiful if they have you know you might want to double check in with your own feelings versus just their what they got to say because people always got something to say but it's not about talking about it it's about being about it so at the end of the day this person has some intentions toward you that they feel is going to bring you guys closer together, but it's after they work through their own stuff mentally and emotionally. If you want a personal reading, you can find the details for the, that below, both live and pre-recorded video, as well as Patreon. Check it out. If you want to open up the pathways more in this connection, check out my course, 21 Days of Angel Messages, opening up the pathways in love to truly attract the connection that you desire all right boo that is it it was a pleasure and until the next time darling bye okay pile two let's get it so we are checking in tapping in here with the deep love card messages from your person either in no contact or may just be shy quiet and stand office. Let's see what's going on with this person. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, definitely some loving energy as part of these initial messages. It looks like this person may be quiet. A lot of them are quiet here. Hmm. Worried about things going too fast. Focus too much on the negativity of the past, but also wanting something very solid and real. I feel like this person is someone that has a lot of depth, and that really makes sense here with this deep love, okay? Um, first message is like, I feel like this person is definitely yearning for some deep love in their life, okay? They're looking for a certain level of gentleness. Um, and so... They're in this place where they're open to love, but they're also battling a lot of their past demons and a lot of their worries and a lot of their frustrations and a lot of things that they really don't want to be battling necessarily, okay? So first message they have for you here is that they're in a time in their life where they're really in a place where it's like, I almost feel like this person has, has some sort of mind control over them, okay? They're wanting you to know that they've had a bad deal, a raw deal with someone in their past here. Now, this could be someone that they're dating, but for some people, I feel it's like a parental figure or someone in their family, someone here that has been kind of cold-hearted and cold-blooded to them, okay? And so they're wanting you to know that this is something that they're trying to overcome, um, move past to some sort of traumatic wound that they have. And so it's saying here that this person does want you to know that they want something positive and successful with you. Like they would love the world to turn and for this connection to really work. And even with the will here, they would love for the will to move forward and for this connection to work. And it's like they want you to know that they feel that you are definitely a sweetheart to them. Okay. They feel like you guys have this very deep and raw connection. They feel like you see them is what I'm hearing clearly. Like you see the deep essence of them. Like you see deep down into the soul. Like, yes, I'm seeing like eyes burning deep down into the heart and soul, just like that. So this person wants you to know they feel like you see them okay and for that for them that's beautiful that's amazing like that's everything they could desire want think about it makes them get back in this kind of playful mood here with this dolphin and they feel like you bring yeah like the young part of them out you bring this youthful side out you bring this funness this excitement this happiness this joy and it's like they're not even used to feeling this joy because they're used to more rigid energies. They're used to people being more standoffish, cutoffish, real, uh, like just kind of messed up is what I'm getting.
Okay. So for them, it's like you bring this new level of compassion, this new level of comfort, this new level of love, this new level of understanding that they've always yearned for and wanted on a deep level. And so that's what's very triggering for them about this because it's almost like they want it, but they almost believe it's too good to be true. Okay. They believe like, Oh, well, can this possibly happen? It doesn't really make sense for me. I'm usually, you know, able to attract people that are not really that good to me. So why would I be getting something better now? Why would things be different now is what I'm getting. Okay. But they want you to know here that if it was in their way, that everything would move forward and just be even and good between you guys. And so they're saying, you know, there's times when they're quiet or when they're quiet, when they pull away, when they're reflecting, when they're not saying much, when they're not really giving you, you know, much to work with, that it's because their mind's going crazy, okay? There's a lot going on. There's stress. They're overthinking. They're in this place of thinking about the past and the negativity and the injustices that they feel that they've had with the people that they've cared for or loved the most in their lives. And we can see that here in this Five of Cups as well as the seven of swords. They feel like in the past they've been taken advantage of. They've been lied to, manipulated, um, treated bad. Maybe even some I heard stolen from, okay? Like robbed, literally. Mm, put hands on, all of that. Mm, 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 shameful. Yeah, so this person has been through it. Like a lot of these people, not everybody that went through everything, but some of these people, yeah, like, yeah, I'm getting like literally having a fight through some things and and I'm hearing somebody's dog got stolen or you know maybe got took in a breakup or something it's been a whole hot mess it's been a whole hot mess so this person is weary okay they're very weary and so they want you to know hey I've been through it I'm weary I've I've had to heal from a lot I'm still healing from a lot it doesn't mean that I don't want something more solid in this connection it doesn't mean that I don't have dreams or aspirations for things being more solid at some point in the future but at the same time I still got a lot to work on and I still got a lot of things that I need to overcome mentally and emotionally to be ready for this because you make me feel good yes you make me feel nostalgic happy young again but at the same time I got to be able to feel that way on myself this person feels like they really still need to practice a lot of self-love and a lot of self-focus. But at the same time, they do feel a deep sense of love here and care and nurture towards you. When they pull away, they just, they want you to know they just can't handle it. They can't handle the pressure. They can't handle the stress. They can't handle the thinking. They can't handle bringing answers to the table. This person gets overwhelmed very easily and they want you to know they're very overwhelmed right now. They're overwhelmed in their own feelings, their own thoughts, their own emotions. They're overwhelmed in, you know, things that have happened in the past. They're overwhelmed in whether they can bring balance, whether they could be good enough, whether this could work. It's just a million things going through their mind at a million miles per hour. And that's why sometimes they feel they really need to kind of back away and pull away. And so it's really up to you if you feel this is, you know, justified pulling away or if they just ghosting. I mean, if they just acting a fool, you still got to do what's better for you. But this person does have some certain essence of them where they just feel like it's a little self-preservation that's happening here. What else do they want to say? What else do they want to say? This person, yeah. So we first got, I refuse to live without you. So even though they have their fullbacks and they're having their fear and they have their worry and they have their doubt and their stresses, they still feel like you're the one. Okay. And that's what I'm saying is because of this energy right here. It's like you take them to cloud nine when they don't really see how else to get there but at the same time that's scary to them because they know that they got to get to cloud nine on their own and so this is what's making them reflect like i need to heal this i feel it's healthy because this person does not want to be codependent here in this connection which is good but like i said if they doing the most you know we ain't got time because you know if, if they ghost and that's that's uh toxic too but it might not be okay i mean they might not be ghost not everybody so next we got i just need some time to myself so that goes back to that hermit energy so like i was saying this person wants to be like down with you they want to be involved they want things to continue to go but it's kind of at their pace okay they're wanting you to know i just need some time to focus on me i need some time to heal i need some time to reflect on the things that i've been through i need some time to release this person got some very negative energy and baggage that they need to release from their past and i kind of agree that they need some time for that okay in the meantime they really want to thank you 
for the love, the compassion, the patience that you've had because they know dealing with them is not always easy. They know that they're not always easy. They know that they can be frustrating at times. But at the same time, they feel like you two are, are able to get on the same page. And so they want you to know that they feel like you guys can grow together, that you can get on the same page, that you can eventually build this level of understanding with one another. But this is after they take some time to heal. They have been losing sleep over this connection. Okay. They have been worried about it. They have been overthinking it. They have been stressing about it. And they have been thinking about having a date night, spending some quality time, enjoying time together. And so they want you to know that they're always thinking about some new way to surprise you or bring you a gift or some new way to kind of reopen things, get back to that place of dating, having a good time. Um, because they do feel like you're a friend and a confidant here. And so they definitely want to thank you for being that open hearted person. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. This person is very much in gratitude for you and your presence. But at the same time, even though they're not trying to take their own personal issues out on you, they feel like sometimes they affect you negatively or they may drain you. They don't want to do that. Okay. This person really, I could say on a healthy sense, wants to heal themselves for the most part. And so that's what requires them to kind of pull away so they can reflect and get this deeper understanding. But it's not because of any lack of care or love for you. And that's what they really want you to know. They want you to know that they appreciate you. They want you to know that they look forward to spending time with you in the future. They want you to know that, you know, they think about you all the time and they can't wait to the time where you guys can get on the same page and really work through any things that have gotten in your way. But this is after you work through these things individually. If you want to open up the love here in this connection, I do have a 21 day um, course opening up the pathways of love with angel guidance that you can find below. I also do personal readings, pre-recorded or live video. You can find that below, or you can just follow me over on Patreon where we got a lot more exclusive videos as well as free readings and coaching. All right, boo. I'll be talking to you later. Bye. Okay, we got pile three here. No contact, what they want to say or low contact. They might just be quiet. You know what I'm saying? But messages from your person. You pick the deep passion card. So let's go ahead and see what it is that they have to say. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this person here seems to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. There might be a pain or a thorn in your side, okay? Because they got things to say, but it seems like a few excuses up in here. Like, we're going to have to check it out and see what excuses they got. But this person is feeling like they want you to know that they're almost really just kind of not feeling good enough for the connection, okay? And so at this point, they're really feeling like they need very much this ego boost, which I'm not really sure is healthy, but hey, that's what they're feeling. And at the same time, they're feeling like it may be too difficult to give you everything that you need in connection. Like they feel like they may have to make too much sacrifice. There's too many changes, too many things that leave them feeling depleted, leave them feeling stressed, leave them feeling like, you know, I can't really do this. I feel like this person really has a low self-esteem. Mm -hmm, most definitely. Um, they have a lot of insecurities. And so they have a hard time recognizing their own good and lovable qualities. So it's going to be difficult for them as far as recognizing you recognizing the lovable qualities. It's almost like this person's kind of in a hopeless fog when it comes to love and connection. And so they want you to know that that they really do appreciate everything that you've brought to the table, like your love, your support, right? But at the same time, they're not really sure that they can bring to the table what it is that you need. They're not sure that they can make the right sacrifices. They're not sure that they have all that it takes. And so right now they're kind of in limbo and kind of waiting and trying to decide and figure out 
if they have everything that you need, if they can offer what it is that you need. Um, and so this has put them in a place of being a little bit down and out, okay? Um, because they almost feel a little bit hopeless, even though it's not really hopeless. But this is all self-loathing is what I'm getting. Yeah, like self-loathing, negative self-talk, frustration. I hear this person saying like stupid or you're so stupid or I'm so stupid. Or, why did I do this? Oh, why? Like this person really gets stuck in beating themselves up mentally and emotionally. No. Okay, this person's a little bit. Mm. So this makes them hold back because they don't really trust and believe things. And so they want you to know, like, I'm really kind of going through it. I'm having all these kind of mental battles with myself. And until I figure out, you know, if I can offer you everything that you need, I'm really in a place where I'm kind of just holding back and waiting and seeing what happens. And this person is saying that they're in a place where they're trying to really be logical with the situation, but they're also trying to follow their gut. But they have a hard time stepping into this new realm for them because it's really new for them to allow themselves to be kind of taken away by their passion It's really new for them to really put in the work to kind of make a connection strive this person wants you to know like i've never been that good at relationships like i've never been that good at love i've never been that good at it because i have a hard time you know feeling like i measure up i have a hard time feeling like I can bring what's needed to the table. I have a hard time, you know, kind of loving myself in that way. And I'm hearing, you know, some of them are pretty embarrassed by this, okay? Like, I'm embarrassed even by saying this. And so, they want you to know that they feel you're everything, amazing, strong, you know, cute, beautiful, handsome, whatever, okay? Smell good. But at the same time, the better you are and the greater you are, the less they feel. This person really does suffer quite a bit from some low esteem um, and stresses. They don't really trust their own intuition at times, so it makes it difficult for them to move forward, to express, to open up. But they would like to, but it's difficult because they feel bound to the old ways that they've done things. And yeah, again, this deep passion goes hand in hand with the sacral chakra. Like The passion is there, like, but they're afraid to follow it. And that's what it is. So they're trying to, you know, stay in control, but also follow their intuition. But the devil's in the midst of this because they're trying to stay in control. You know, all this waiting and waiting and waiting, but not stepping up to the plate. What else do they want to say here? What else? This person does want to be wrapped here in your arms. I need to feel your sweet embrace. So with this, they are feeling like, you know, either they miss your arms or if they never felt them, they wish that they could. They really do look for a sense of comfort. And that's what I'm saying. This person needs kind of some comfort or ego boost. They need something here to make them feel better because they're so stressed. And that's what I'm saying. This person, yeah, they definitely probably need to work on that. Um, you do ignite a special passion within them. So they get really excited and passionate. Once again, the passion is there. And that's what this person keeps saying. Like the passion is there, but my problem is I just keep waiting. Oh, well, not quite yet. Well, I don't know. Can I do this? Is this good? Is this going to work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's all I keep getting. I get trembles whenever I think of you. So yeah, this person has nothing but very positive and amazing feelings and thoughts for you. And they really, again, I'm hearing feel stupid. I'm even hearing like um, dope from, um, what's that show was called? The Simpsons. Like, yeah, like feeling very, very dumb. Like feeling stupid, feeling like, why am I not, you know, hopping on this? At the same time, they know that this, like this eternal burning feeling within them towards you. So they have this burning, yearning kind of feeling towards you, this deep love or passion towards you. But... They don't know how to get going. This is because, again, like I was saying, they want to be like kind of the savior towards you because, you know, they want to feel like they bring enough to the table. But they're not realizing that the more that they want to be like your savior, that this is what's giving them the low self-esteem. You don't need a savior. You're, you're saving yourself or you're very independent. I want to take a while your problems and stress, but this person has their own problems and stress. And so that's the problem. It's like they don't know 
what to do. They don't know how to step into what they foresee as their destiny, which is to kind of take care of you. Um, they also want you to know that they know that they're not the best, but they do care for you. So again, they're going back to feeling like they're not in the best shape. They don't have a lot to offer. This person is very meek, mild, scared in ways. Um, yeah, I'm getting like as quiet as a church mouse. Like for some of y'all, it's like you're dealing with this person, but they're just not saying nothing. They're just acting real scary and acting real weird and acting real tiptoe-ish. You know what I'm saying? Like not speaking a truth, wearing masks and all that, which is not healthy at all. Mm -mm. And for some of you, this person's just sitting back and waiting to finally make some sort of move, say something, try to fix things, but they're not really taking action um, because they don't trust themselves. I do feel like at some point this person is going to take some action. Yes. And this is because you kind of drive them crazy. They can't not take some action. Like, excuse me, like if they don't take action, they're going to feel like they missed something. They're going to feel depleted. They're going to feel upset. They're going to feel miserable. Um, most definitely. Okay. So that is it. If you like a personal reading, I do private videos live and pre-recorded. You can find that below. You can join me on Patreon. You can help open up the connection here by getting the course 21 days of opening your path ways to love with angel guidance. All right, boo. That is it. I'll be talking to you later. Bye.